Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try and explain why, because it's just some weird brain stuff that doesn't make any sense. But I was telling Will a couple of weeks ago that I thought I might get on better with paint in um, if I had lots of little pots of paint with all different colours rather than tubes of paint. And then for my birthday the other day, he got me some little pots of paint. He got me three different sets. There's this one that says it's acrylic paint. And then this one that says it's watercolour paint and this one that says it's poster paint for kids I'll show you, look there oh, that is just delightful, I love it <laughs> I'm so excited by all these little pots they each, each set came with brushes as well and yesterday I did some like swatch test did a little painting with each set to see what they were like and to try all the colours and it wasn't really a fair test because this one, the acrylic set come with this brush which is like I don't know why they'd give you a, a square brush rather than a pointed brush but it's like a fairly nice brush so which one was this this is the acrylic paints and you can see the swatches are quite smooth because the brush was okay but then the kids poster paints came with two brushes But they look like this and I don't know how well you'll be able to tell on camera but they're very stiff they're very bristly and you cannot get a point on them at all they're just they're not good brushes and these ones were kind of like painting with twigs so I don't know if you can see these look quite scratchy so I don't really know if that's the paint or just the brushes and then it was the same with the watercolour which really wasn't a fair test because I assume you're not supposed to use them straight out of the pot but I did because I just wanted to see what what they were like but the brush that came with the watercolours is this monstrosity which like it's not as hard as I was expecting, sometimes these plastic bristly ones are like really really horrible but again it's just, it's a big old mess and look how bendy this is, like it's so weird to paint with but yeah I tried using that and then again they like are so scratchy and I don't know what is the paint and what is the brush so I'm gonna have to test them again but obviously I will just will be using them I'm interested to see how they'll work with nicer brushes but I like cheap stuff so I wanted to at least give them a go <laughs> but I think even for me those brushes are a bit like I'll keep them I'm sure they'll have their uses for like texture and stuff but yeah not not just for painting but yeah so I'm really excited to get to know the paints because they say they're different types of paint but they seem kind of similar but there are it does look like there's little differences and there's so many colours and I'm going to be able to get all my paints out and be like bop 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 just get my paints <laughs> I don't know I'm excited did you actually see the pictures look with I did this little guy I think he's cute and then this one was just some strawberries but that blue is nice isn't that blue a nice blue I think it's a nice blue and then my face with the poster paints and my scratchy brush. It's me, look. Doesn't it look the same? <laughs> but yeah, I'm very, very excited about all my paints, all my pots. All my pots of paints.
I bought this nightie in a charity shop because the colours and the little dots are really cute and um, it's long enough that you can just wear it as a dress but I feel like this it looks too much like a nightie I need to do something with it or I was thinking about um, making a detachable collar that could go with it so that this would have something going on or maybe layering it would be good, though it's too hot for that at the minute, but maybe having something underneath would make the collar look a little bit less like a nighty. I don't know. If you have any patterns for making a detachable collar, please, please link them to me. Because I've never made something like that, I don't know. Even if you're watching this in the future, send me your pattern links. They will always be welcome. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the fact that I think there's a cucumber in my garden that I'm gonna harvest. Can you grow a cucumber just in a garden? Apparently you can grow a cucumber in your garden. <laughs> I'm not sure how big they're supposed to get. The packet of seeds just said medium sized cucumbers. I don't know what that means, but I've left it alone and I don't think it's getting any bigger. So I wanna take it off the plant before it gets eaten by someone or goes rotten or something because I want to at least get to try a cucumber. There's a couple more growing on there as well so I might get might get a few but I'm very excited about this cucumber. Cucumber It feels pretty good. What do I do? Just like twist it.
Oh my god. A garden cucumber. That's amazing. And there's this guy and this guy. I can't believe it tastes better. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I grew a cucumber. I thought it was going to be bitter because I didn't take the flowers off, but it's not bitter. No, it's tasty. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the week again, so this is the end of the vlog. Um, as always, I haven't checked any of the footage, so I don't know what this video is. This week was mostly like birthday depression. And then I've been working on my zine, I'm making a zine. And I'm at the stage where I'm like editing scans and typing stuff. So there's not really been anything to show. Today I printed out a bunch of pages so that I could, um, you know, start visualising how much stuff I have and how many pages I need and, you know, stuff. I can't tell how much I have. When it's files on a computer, I have to print them out, um, yeah, to, to know how many pages I have and how many more I want to do and all that stuff. And obviously some of it is um, not being made on the computer anyway. I like to do a bit of both. I like that whole cut and paste real life thing, but I also like just doing it on the computer because I get a bit weird about printing out images just to scan them back in again. My like thrifty brain just gets really like, oh no, it's a waste, oh it's not worth it, which is bad, but you know, I try to manage it. I do a little bit of both. But anyway, that's, that's what I've been doing this week. So, Thank you for being here with me. I'm gonna eat this giant apple. And then... <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> but thank you for watching my video. And I hope you will watch next week's video as well because there inevitably will be one. And yeah, bye bye. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I love you.